Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at very important interview question and this question was asked in PWC and let's see what is the question and uh, how you'll be able to answer this, right? Here we have taken the matrix visual, right? So let me go ahead and show you the exact matrix visual that that has been presented. And in the rows there is country and there is city, right? So if I collapse this, you'll have country wise sales and sales quantity right and you have if you expand this you'll be having the corresponding city wise sales and the city wise quantity that were sold so 765 units were sold in the city of bangalore and the total sales for these 765 units is let's say uh, this particular amount right 5,64,748 now the question over here is you have to create one more column over here right after quantity which if it is at the in country level okay it will show you the sales what i am telling if it is at the country level then you have to show the sales and if it is at the city level you have to show the quantity that are sold right so for the city you have to show the quantity and for country you have to show the sales but in the same column that is the catch okay using tax so for this we'll go ahead and write a measure and we will use something known as has one value if you have not heard of has one value you can go ahead and see my videos i have made several videos on has one value and it's a very important dax function as well which is commonly used so in this particular reference let me go ahead and create a new measure and it's a very simple thing actually has one value so let me go ahead and show you what has one value will do. So I'll say has one value. Okay, let me zoom this a bit. Okay, equals. And then I'll simply write the DAX, which is has one value. And it takes the column name, right? So for here, I'll give the city. So has one value has a very unique thing which functions row wise Where, wherever it will find the city and the city will be having a single value it will return as true and whenever city it will not find or it has multiple value it will return as false so let us go ahead and click on enter and drag and drop this has one value into our main canvas right so i have just created this has one value now look let me expand the uk and us as well so you see, whenever there is a city which is Bangalore, Kolkata, or Noida, it is returning true, and whenever we are the we are at the country level, which is India, it is returning false. For UK, it is returning false. For the cities of UK, Manchester and London, it is returning true. So using this, now it has become very simple, right? So the next thing we will do is we will write a simple uh, you know switch logic, which will say that whenever if has one value is false then you give me the sales and if has one value is true then you give me the quantity and we'll write it in a single column so rather a single measure so let us go ahead right click go to new measure call this measure as output i'll say switch has one value if this is true then you return me the quantity so why it is not returning because you have to give sum right sum of quantity and whenever it is false whenever it is false then you return me not the quantity but the sales right we will close our switch that's it pull this output into the main canvas and your problem is now solved right so whenever we are at the country level we are getting the sales right in the same column right this this 109 is representing the sales of the country but this is representing the quantity right so the same output column is giving me both the sales as well as quantity based on 
whether we are at the city level or we are at the country level so guys one request from me if you are attending interviews or your friend is attending any interview in any company and you are having the questions please go ahead and mail it to me at yourpowerbizone@gmail.com or you can give this in the comment section as well in the next time we meet have a great day bye bye